<laughs> so what about them donuts? I mean, are we ever going to start trying to get into the donuts? Well, you've got to cover your eyes first. You got five grams of corn? Hey, man. So, I got four grams on me and one gram in me, which is my heart is going like the clappers as if I'm about to have a heart attack. So if I collapse any minute now, please remember to tell the doctors that it might have something to do with the coke. Give us a gram. Episode 11, you got a second, I want to ask you a question. What do you know about dealing with feelings with every feeling you feel is depression? What do you know about waking up every day, laying in bed, praying for Armageddon? Well, we ain't received no email in two weeks and I'm feeling like we should just end it. Hey, what's the point in it if nobody listens? Why should we even continue the mission? Everybody and their mama got a podcast right now. Why did we think we would be different, huh? Why did we think it was written, huh? We didn't even audition, huh? We just reach into the head and pull out a podcast kind of like we're magicians, huh? I'm just kidding. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty good with the failures cause you gon' miss every shot you don't take so I'ma empty the whole clip like oh yeah this is it episode 11 stop what you doing the pot is in session I kill this week this is not a confession don't take me to court I will ball on you like Jordan or Kobe or LeBron you don't know me what's BG say Holy and I'll be dead before you control me remotely homie if you tell me one thing tell me this one thing only why does a feather in Yankee Doodle sad have anything to do with macaroni I don't get it it don't fit it but if it don't fit you must acquit it we still waiting on our donut intern take your application and submit it if you want the job you in the same boat as captain marvel you could get it by the mc hammer of thor this podcast too legit for me to quit it let's go welcome to the rock the beat studios podcast i am it's 10, 11 minutes past the hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 minutes past the hour i'm joined at this door table by a few co-hosts to my left is bobby g right behind him on the couch dying to grab a mic is cassie Across the table is our guest for a second time, third time. Yeah, third. Th- third, third time. Yeah. Evan, to my right, is Deputy Dave, as always. <laughs> Pat is right past him, and today is St. Patrick's Day. That is right. I mean, Sunday was St. Patrick's Day. Shoot. <laughs> Here at the RTB Pod, <laughs> we know you have choices in your podcast, wasting time, wasting things. But you chose ours, and Pat wants to thank you for that. Thank you for listening, even though you really just kind of broke my spirit at the intro <laughs> well you didn't listen to the words then <laughs> i listened to a lot of it <laughs> you picked most up it. a little bit you'll you'll catch it in a minute i listen to it you'll catch it what's your obsession with me saying holy moly holy it's moly good. <laughs> yeah. good. i'm just uh trying to brand us with something so we can make shirts the original it, it was like perfect timing too so i don't even remember I why i said it <laughs> I need to go back and do some research. It'd be nice to have holy moly shirts one day. You should probably listen to the podcast. I do. I didn't in the beginning. Cassie mentioned me in a comment on Facebook one minute ago. Uh Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Today is also St. Gertrude's Day. The patron patron saint of cats. Thank you for that, Cassie. Anybody's name Gertrude around here? No. Have you ever met a Gertrude? My grandmother. Call her Gertie? (laughs) Well, (laughs) I'm sure that's true for a lot of people. (laughs) Mine too. (laughs) Do y'all have a name y'all want to be called when y'all have grandkids? Yes. Uncle Rexo. Uncle? Yeah. Papa Big D. (laughs) (laughs) They can call me, they can just call me Uncle. (laughs) Don't. Don't let your grandkids call you that. <laughs> you might get in trouble. Yeah, listen, didn't you have a fat daddy? <laughs> yeah, I did have fat daddy. I had bye daddy. Because my cousin used to hear my aunts and stuff say bye daddy when she was when they were leaving, so she started calling him bye daddy. Bye daddy would mean something different these days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do this... Uh, blind taste test who's up first i'll i'll try them all with my eyes closed <laughs> just gonna start reaching in and before ahead. before y'all start the tractor trailer thing it's a tractor and sorry it, it aggravates me it's on the cdl <laughs> manual whenever you do it's an 18 wheeler so it's only 18 wheeler when it's hooked to a trailer it's a semi truck well you call it a semi but in the book it's called a tractor and then you have the trailer we didn't have a book we were talking about what each person calls it yeah and we still every time kids do the arm thing do people still do that i do it all the time i even do it in the dump truck like and i wait till somebody's like leaning in their car or something i'll come back and scare the hell out of them it's funny oh yeah there was something y'all talked about when you're talking about building houses you listened i did i did (laughs) did your brain melt no, no, no. Yeah. My, my family used to own what, a construction Cassie? company. So, but, uh, 
I don't know if this is true, but this is something I heard a long time ago and I always wondered. Mm-mm. So you were talking about when you build on sand, you have to get Whoa. down to the bedrock, right? I really have no idea because okay. I've never built on sand. But. But, but if you build on rock, do you not have to put sand down? No. No? no? Okay. You can actually pour concrete about? right over. If the rock's big enough, like your any machine you have out there, you can't move it. <laughs> That's basically what the inspectors tell you. If you can't move it with your machine, it's good. Oh, and then you can pour yeah. concrete over top of it. What if your machine is your own bare hands? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're, digging, you're digging footers with the, like a backhoe or something. But it's right. got to be pretty big for a backhoe. <laughs> yeah. All right, pass me those donuts. Time for a donut taste test. Oh, no, you got to close your eyes. Oh, let me get a blindfold. So we have donuts from a well-known company, DD, and the other company is KK. There is not a third K. <laughs> it rhymes with wispy ream. So y'all, y'all can tell the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna hand me one of each? Yeah. No, he's gonna feed them to you. <laughs> All right, reach your hand out, grab onto. What the? <laughs> you just give me that? Does not feel like a donut. <laughs> it's a napkin. It's a donut. Donut. <laughs> he thinks you can feel it and tell the difference. So I hope yeah. you get a little bit of napkin in your mouth. Too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot, aren't I? Yeah, it's nothing but napkin. Don't take a big bite. So I've got donuts in both of my hands, and I can't see because right. the box. Do your right hand first. Which one do you think this is? I know which one it is. This one's heavier. How do you know? I'm holding to both of them. <laughs> you got a weight scale? So, or so are you going to base it off the weight or the taste? Taste, bro. Everything. <laughs> we'll go. I'm going to use all four senses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. You got a little napkin in on that one. What? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. What? Chocolate? Yeah. I thought Evan said there was no chocolate. Chocolate with sprinkles. You're chewing in the mic. What's the point? It's a taste test. <laughs> the audience has to know I'm tasting. <coughs> that one was pretty good, but I'm going to try this one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? You. So weird. You never had a blind, blindfold. No, I haven't. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to avoid a napkin, too. You could have got me the same kind of donut. This one tastes way different. Well, we tried. Yeah, there are two companies that don't have yeah. the same kind. Glaze? Yeah, that would have been the they're, smart idea. The one company doesn't have just regular glazed. Really? Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Wow. That's why nobody likes them. Yeah. yeah. All right, no and, second bite. And <laughs> yeah. one company has way less options than the other. Like, it's it's ridiculous. All right, this is the winner. This one is not as good. And it's something else that I don't like this time. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> which one's a witch? We don't care if you like them. Just tell us which company made which one. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> what? Was, was this Krispy Kreme? Because that's my favorite kind. Yes. Ding, yes. Yes. ding, ding, ding. ding. Yeah. You are the winner. Wiener, wiener. All right, what kind is this? It is green. <laughs> Does <laughs> it taste green? Give me St. Patty's. There was some mint in this one. Uh, okay. It's not good. It didn't say that on the... You just said the... Well, I don't know that for sure. That's just my... Uh, you, my you're taste probably bad. right. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> one more bite. That's just a double check. I don't think we can go through that with everybody, so I'm just going to eat one. <laughs> no, you got to do it blindfolded. Does anybody else want a chocolate sprinkle? <laughs> it's all you. Go for it. Well, that was fun, but Krispy Kreme's the best. You want to try it? I know what they are. I'm pretty sure if like you put it in my <laughs> hand, I'll automatically know. <laughs> yeah. How? I don't know. I just feel like I would. Krispy Kremes are lighter. You need the Dunkin fear. Dunkin' Donuts is like yeah. a thicker. That's that's them. what Krispy Kreme is so good is it's like just air. so light. Is yeah. that what I said? This one was heavier? Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You want to know some fun facts about St. Patrick? Yeah. We mm-hmm. got rid of all the snakes. That was Robin Hood. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> mm, one of those cherry filled ones. Whatever filling. Everybody take your time. This is all going to be cut. We're <laughs> snack time. <laughs> It's just disgusting being in these headphones. I know. <laughs> it's like amplified. What if you could really hear like that? I'd be mad. And go to restaurants and stuff. And go insane. Poor Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> David actually liked that movie. That was an awful, awful movie. Oh, was it? Yes, it was. Ben Affleck is awful no matter what kind of superhero he is. <laughs> for, the, I'm sorry. for the time that it was, it was a good movie. No, it was awful. I liked it. That's, I, <laughs> good Lord. I liked the show on Netflix, too. Clay watches it. I haven't watched it. it. Yeah, the show on Netflix was really good. Yeah, but the movie was awful. You agree? Yep. Bobby G's got me. Bobby G hates everything, though. Did y'all he watch Triple Frontier? He hates everything. <laughs> I love Ben Affleck as Batman. <laughs> I, I hate Ben See, Affleck as any superhero. I know you're That's lying. like the only 
Ben Affleck role I like is him as Batman. You're I like, think he's so good. Just that's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, did you watch Triple Frontier? No, no not yet. yet. I guess it's my turn to pick the movie. I didn't come prepared. Mm. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. And I got some fun facts. Several things you may not know about St. Patty's Day. It's oh. actually St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and we should really wear blue. Because his color was St. Patrick's Blue, a light shade. The color green was only became associated with the big day after it linked to the Irish independence movement in the late 18th century. The IRA? Is that it? Number two. St. Patrick was British, although he made his mark by introducing Christianity to Ireland in the year 432. It's weird when you got like a three, three letter, a three number year. Patrick wasn't Irish himself. He was born to Roman parents in Scotland or Wales in the late 4th century. That's all I got. That's, That's it? it? You said 15. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. All right, I'll give you one more. This one's the most important one. He got rid of all the snakes. It sucks St. Patrick was on Sunday. Nobody was, like, drinking or anything. Yeah. They had keg and egg, kegs and eggs yesterday. Yeah. yeah. It used to be a dry holiday. For the most part of the 20th century, St. Patrick's Day was considered a strictly religious holiday in Ireland, which meant that the nation's pubs were closed for business on March 17th. The one exception went to the beer vendors at the big national dog show, which was always held on St. Patrick's Day. In 1970, the day was converted to a national holiday and the stout resumed flowing. And they dyed it green. You like stout? No. I like a Guinness every now and then. No. Disgusting. You never have an Irish car bomb? No. Those are my favorite. I can't take any of your opinions serious anymore. Why? Because you just said with a straight face that Batman was... That ben, ben Affleck ben does Affleck a good job. Awesome Batman. <laughs> I'm not saying he does a better job than like Christian Bell or Michael Keaton. I'm just saying I didn't hate him. It wasn't a bad choice at all. Yeah, yeah, it was an awful, awful choice. <laughs> Sean Connery was the best Batman. Yeah, God. Sean Connery. The, I'm Sean Connery. The world I'm runs up. No, I'm Sean Connery. Quite a bar tab. All the paint, St. Patrick's Day revelry around the globe is great news for brewers. 2012, they spent about $245 million on brews. I like the fact that I'm not the only one that noticed the sexual tension between Thor and Captain Marvel. You mentioned it in the song. No, I didn't. Yes, you he did. Was, <laughs> he was saying that she could get it from him. From me, yeah. Mm. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me what you said. That she would get it like Thor's hammer. No, I said, still waiting on a donut intern. Take your application and submit it. If you want that job, you in the same boat with Captain Marvel. You could get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said... By the MC Hammer of Thor. This uh, podcast too legit for me to quit it. He's doing a reunion tour. Thor? No, MC <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> if he don't got the pants on, I ain't going. Exactly. Why wouldn't he? I don't know. He's old. He went through a gangster phase in his end, so. Let's before he if, went bankrupt and yeah, lost everything. Went, yeah. Let's have MC Hammer Day and everybody wears those pants to the podcast. Just sounds like a bunch of windbreakers in a tornado. The wind never stood a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Not against these breakers. I got donut stuff all over me because you guys made me eat it blindfold. I thought everyone was going to have to do it, and Pat was like, dig in. <laughs> <laughs> it took too long. Couldn't wait. Have y'all watched Murder Mountain? What's Murder Mountain? It's on Netflix. It's good. It's a series, right? Yeah, it's a series. It's about a whole town in California where they grow pot, and a bunch of people were missing or murdered. It's legal there. It wasn't legal, and the growers are... That's actually what's putting all the growers out, is it going legal? Because California's got so many stupid rules, you know, and it costs so much money to get people to come in there and test the soil and people to come in there and see if you're killing birds. And, you well, know, yeah, the government's got to get their Yeah, money. California's so ridiculous. More than doubled in price yes. when it went legal. See, I think Colorado's got it right because most of their, their growers are indoors, so yeah. there's nothing to really test. Where'd you get the soil? I don't know how they do Are they letting them use banks yet, or is it still all cash business? Last time I checked, it was still cash. Special businesses popped up to deal with it. Yeah. Like, my, I've got a friend out there that does security for one of the grow houses. Hmm. And he said, like, they have to have security 24-7. 
and like armed guards, like ex military guys. People try to go in there and steal it. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's one of the things about Murder Mountain is the like the cops were coming in to do a raid, and this guy's like it was his first time up there, and these guys come out of the woods on four wheelers and masks with shotguns on their back, and he's like, I got to pull my pistol, and the dude's like, No, they're they're escorting us where we need to go, and they're, he's like, They're protection for us. And he's like, We're the cops. We don't need protection, but no, they, <laughs> that's what they're there for. I wish it would be legal here. It'll be us or Kentucky next. I'm gonna grow. A Talk to your drains. senator, your your local Alabama senator. Nope. Did you? <laughs> Did you write him? <laughs> They're not gonna listen. <laughs> They're gonna say, "Hey, let's just hike gas prices instead." Yeah. How much is the gas going up? Ten cents. I think I thought it was yeah. ten or twenty. I couldn't remember though. Was it ten cents per gallon or ten cents per dollar? Per gallon. It's ten cents on the dollar. That would suck. That Lincoln suck. County can't pave my road, and they just spent two million dollars on a building for the county highway department. So your road's not paved. It's not. It I mean, it's fixed pretty much a dirt road by now. Hmm. I'd rather it be dirt. But I have heard that the next the next go around, there's four people running for that spot. I'm probably going to be one of them. You're going to run for a. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <clears throat> That's Evan why you Mitchell, came today, Highway Commissioner. <laughs> yeah. Did we just? I would in my bed for the running now. How much does that cost? Have you looked into it? Uh, no, really. it doesn't cost anything. Uh, like I'd office? have to uh, campaign and stuff, but yeah. I'm going to run a grassroots campaign. Go yeah, around. Go door to door? Yeah. Get, and, get a midget. I'm going to go. Yeah. We're going to sleep this state clean. No, like, uh, I'm going to find the worst roads in Lincoln County, and I'm going to go around and be like, hey, do you tired of your road? Let's get that out there yeah. no yeah. roads for anybody because if you call his office and complain he says yeah. i don't need your vote stop calling me and hangs exactly. up on you he don't he doesn't care at all <laughs> you getting rid of the roads completely or fixing them fixing them like even when they patch a pothole they drive by in a truck and sling it out the back of the truck and just keep going at least do it right if they you're sling out a coming. pothole patch like asphalt hot mix hot mix or cold mix what you have hot mix and cold mix. Cold mix is just like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like uh, cold kinetic sand. Yeah, it's. These are different kinds of asphalt. So what happens when you get to, if you win and you get to office and you're like, I want to fix these roads. And they're like, no, you can't do that. You can fix, you can go out there and patch potholes. I mean, like you're in charge of everything over. Are you going to change them from a four day work week? Because that's what they're on right now. They're on Probably four go tens. to five days and hire all new people. If just you don't like it, yeah. If you don't like it, just get out. I'm just gonna do like a new sheriff. Evans in town. <laughs> if you don't like it, get out. There's a new sheriff in town. Would you uh, quit your job to run? Yes. I'm not gonna quit my job to run. If I win, I have to quit my job. He makes more than I do, so he gets a county truck, county gas. Why do you think he's not fixing roads? He doesn't care anymore. He's been there. What? Who is it? He's been there a long time. <laughs> Like 12 years or longer. Yeah, it's been a while. So, I mean, at least go in there and do it right. If you're going to fix something, they filled in, they put new tiles in, dug them out, dumped asphalt over the top, back, back drug it with a backhoe and left it and run over it with the tires. It's like speed bumps down my road everywhere they put one. I'm, it makes me so mad. What if you just didn't have the budget once you got in? And that's you what he's doing. He's just doing the best he can. No, you put asphalt in, at least put the asphalt down right. You had the money to put the asphalt in, at least put it down right. Well, maybe you didn't have the time. You had the time. I mean, they've got a 10-hour work day, and they're sitting there every time you drive by them. They had the time. What are they doing? Sitting there. Just <laughs> leaning, there. On a, yeah, yeah. leaning on a shovel. Podcasting. Smoking a cigar. Yeah, and every, and every, time it, every time it rains, we get calls about water over the road, and they'll be like, hey, you need to go, go sell. No, that's the county department's job. They exactly. go out and put they're up barriers. It's not. It's not a. They neglect a legal my problem. roads so much that they put out cones because the water was over the road. It was two weeks before they come out and got the cones back out of the middle of the road. I don't even it? know if they got them. They were just gone one day. So how'd you get around them? You just drove around. They only put out two little <laughs> cones. You can drive your truck through the middle. And of them. what do you think happened to kids that used to steal cones? They just don't do that anymore. They probably did. They probably jacked those cones. <laughs> there would be no way those cones lasted two weeks on my road. Right. No. Yeah. 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 If some cones were blocking my road for extended period of time for no reason i'd jack them too what are you gonna do with them put them in the garage in case i need to put some guns out <laughs> i filled the bed of my truck up and then went to my brother's house and put them all across his yard see there we go <laughs> great practical joke right there it's like a yard prank yeah. i well, used to keep one in my in my astro van when i had it for a short amount of time we had a cone in the back and every time i parked anywhere in a subdivision i would just set it by my truck <laughs> So you, so you look legit? Yeah. yeah. I felt like I was doing something. <laughs> you weren't. No. 
Oh, I went to Walmart the other day. Mm. Walmart grocery pickup. All right? What? It still takes them 45 minutes to bring your groceries out. I park, and I'm, I'm sitting there waiting, you know. This kid in a 1981 Ford with an 01 spray painted on his door and a rebel flag tag on the front is sitting behind me blaring Nickelback as loud as it will go on the other side. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this is cool, you know. Well, he starts his truck to go leave. There is no exhaust on his truck. And I'm like, okay, thank God he's leaving. You know, I've been there 10 minutes listening to Nickelback. And I'm, you know, it's, it's getting old. Too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just as loud as it'll go. Well, before he goes to leave, he has no exhaust on his truck. He ribs the motor as loud as it will go, pulling out, sets off the car alarm to a Toyota Sienna minivan that goes off the rest of the 45 minutes that I'm sitting there. <laughs> And I was so mad, I was ready to strangle him. He wouldn't come back down the aisle, but he kept riding around the rest of them, revving the motor, trying to set off other core arms. I was, ooh, I was ready to kill him. That's a common thief. I was, I was fixing to be mad dad. That was actually Evan <laughs> 10 mad, years ago. Mad. Yeah, that was <laughs> You hate what you see in yourself. <laughs> oh, I was so mad. I was like, you little... <laughs> and it was upsetting. That sucks. So the rest of the time, it goes... Bang. And I roll up my windows, nothing. I mean, it's How does just... it take 45 minutes for them to bring your groceries out? Because they're always slammed. Did you At take least... it out on the, the Walmart lady? And like, no. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I've been listening to? No, I was nice to them. They're like, we deal with it all the time. That kid's here a lot. I'd call the cops on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was fixing to deal with it myself, but he didn't come back down the aisle. I did hang up on a guy the other day. He called the sheriff's department. He goes, I want to report a suspicious vehicle. I'm like, okay, where you at? And he gives me his address and tells me all this stuff. I'm like, well, what's suspicious about it? He goes, well, it was going five miles under the speed limit in front of my house. <laughs> uh, okay. <coughs> what well, has it been? Has it been passing like numerous times? No, I've just never seen it before. <laughs> this guy lives on a major roadway. <laughs> <What the Yeah. laughs> And I'm like, all right, so did did you hit it with like a radar gun? How how do you know that it wasn't going, you know, the actual speed limit? I can just tell. I've lived here 42 years. Oh, man. And I go, okay, sir, so a vehicle drove slowly past your house, and that was suspicious, so we need to come out there and try to find it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that guy that... Uh... When we would go down the avenues, they'd always rake their leaves out there, you know, by the road. And I'd come through there in Monte Carlo and just destroy their leaves. That was rude. Well, he stuck a cinder block in there. And we were coming through <laughs> there one night, and I hit it. Just run, I was running 60 down the avenues, and I hit that cinder block and blew my tire out. <laughs> and the cops get there, and he's like, I know what you're doing, getting all mad and everything. The cop's like, you're not supposed to set that. Got, he got in trouble. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I had to get over there. There was a car coming, you know. And, <laughs> like, I got out of it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> But you, you hit her center block at 60 in Monte Carlo. It hurts. Yeah, you, if it was in the right, that's that's not acceptable. Yeah. But, like, I remember people were running over Trump signs in people's yards and stuff. So a guy on every single one put nails on a two-by-four. So when they run it over, it's... they blow the tires out. Yeah. yeah. You that's get in trouble funny. for doing that, can't you, David? Not if it's in your yard. If somebody comes up and gets... Hell no. no. If it's in your yard, it's okay. If yeah. it's in the street, it's different. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make my entire yard nails. <laughs> that's like uh, the ATF went to pick up this guy who was like a suspected terrorist and he had holes and in the bottoms of the holes he had sawed off rebarb and sharpened it and guys were falling in the holes and stepping on them he had fishing hooks hanging all over the place and they were hooking their eyes and stuff <laughs> through his woods that, and they couldn't yeah. they couldn't prosecute him because it's his property and mm -hmm. you can do whatever you want to your property so in Vietnam you know they'd make those traps like the, that the with the bamboo sticks. yeah and yeah. they'd smear their own crap on yeah, it yeah. to make oh, you get yeah. infected yeah that would be a crappy situation yeah. oh yeah uh, right. Right. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that Cassie? got a little crap in your room <laughs> feces pieces <laughs> that sounds so gross time for a feces piece <laughs> just a little piece just a little piece sometimes they put poo on their bullets and shoot them at you like a fun size <laughs> this, this was a rock the beat studios feces piece <laughs> let's move on to the next piece what you got Florida man arrested for DUI while Lemur and Wallaby escaped from truck. Florida man says he received dirty underwear in Uber Eats delivery. Florida man stuffs footlong subway down pants. Cops on the lookout. Uh, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man. Y'all gotta get it together to stay to your state of disorder, man. Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man. Everyone losing their mind as soon as they cross your border, man. Wherever this Florida man is, he's clearly insane and unstoppable. 
He feels no pain, has no ethics, and is capable of feats far beyond that of a normal American man. Florida man robs a store dressed as Spider-Man. He's trying to not be Florida man anymore. <laughs> He's trying to be Spider-Man now. Did they catch him? They got him. So they figured that's how they figured out he was really the Florida man. Yeah, when they pulled the mask off, they were like, Florida man. <laughs> You're not Spider-Man. <laughs> You're not Peter Parker. Deputy said a man showed up unmasked to Winn-Dixie Wine and Spirits. He leaves, but then returns this time wearing Spider-Man mask. He stole nearly $150 in liquor and $420 in Newport cigarettes. It's <laughs> a lot of cigarettes. They got him. Florida man Wesley Scott, during a strip search at the Pinellas County Jail, pulled three syringes from his rectum and handed them to deputies. After the ex- exchange, Scott told the deputies that the syringes in question were not his and that he had no clue how they got in there. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man. <laughs> You got knows. us. You got us. How'd they get in there? Hey, that, is, that is my favorite. When you arrest somebody and they've got drugs in their pocket and they say, these aren't even my pants. I've never put on the wrong someone else's pants and had something in there. That's what I say. But apparently it happens all the time to all these other people. <laughs> We're the exception. It's a coincidence. Florida man on drugs kills imaginary friend and turns himself in. <laughs> Look how sad he is. What an honest person. <laughs> He said, and he takes the saddest mugshot ever. You can see the remorse in his eyes. Is there any other news? I mean, any other stuff on that? No, I didn't look at all. I'm just reading the headlines. I've got a Florida woman, Deanna Seltzer, not one to let the guys have all the glory. Deanna Seltzer of Palm Beach was arrested after allegedly attacking her parents for refusing to take her to Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> Seltzer became so enraged over their denial to take her to dinner that she started turning over furniture, smashing through glass, and punched her mother in the chest and arms. When her father <laughs> attempted to break up the scuffle, Seltzer picked up a knife and started chasing him around the house, threatening to kill him. <laughs> Florida man attacks mom's boyfriend with samurai sword over missing can of shrimp. I like Outback. I do like Outback, but I didn't know shrimp came in a can. <laughs> right? Doesn't that sound gross? <laughs> what do you mean you like Outback? I like Outback. I was real mad when they didn't make that movie with Danny McBride. Yeah. Yeah, the remake. Yeah. Well, that was real upsetting. <laughs> I was looking forward to that. Yeah, I know. I was real excited. Aren't they making it? I thought no. they were making it. Shoot. Is, are we Shoot not going to talk about the Florida man that was in pre-production? You talking about the the guy that seems inappropriate. choked his fiance. That's choked inappropriate. His <laughs> He ch- this guy, trying to he be got family off. friendly here. He got off, but the the jury, hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyers did make him show his wiener to the jury. Jury, Ju- jury, 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 jury. He had to show it to him to prove how big it was that it could choke a woman. But his sixty-year-old girlfriend died from choking during oral sex. Wow! And he w- went to jail for murder, but then got off two times. <laughs> yep, twice. Double Jeopardy. <laughs> that is upsetting. But you'd have a story for the rest of your life. If the wiener fits, you must have quit. Yeah. You know he's getting a porno deal next. Yeah. Guarantee it. He was super old. I don't care. They, they don't care. 65. The, the porn industry is very liberal. Well, never have to worry about that. Uh, Not because... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah. Was it John Bobbitt that got his cut off and then he got a porn deal? So What? Yeah. 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 You talking about Lorena Bobbitt? Yeah, her husband, her ex-husband, whatever. How did he get a porno deal without a wiener? I think he had surgery and had like a... His finger put on there. He had something implanted. Yeah, I would just keep the stub. <laughs> <laughs> Nubby. I'm not going to trust very many women for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> just call me stubs. Let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> That's a lesson to me. For trusting a woman with a pair of scissors. Was it scissors? Skizzers. Shears. Trauma shears. Trauma. Samurai sword. You'd have to be sleeping pretty hard to, for her to get all the way through it. I mean, you know, like, that would just I get be. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? With a box cutter? Well, yeah, with, with whatever. Like, as soon as, I'd probably wake up. Trauma shears like, are pretty Scissors strong. or shears, it's like, boom, done. Mm. But with like a single blade, there's probably some sawing involved. Oh. Uh, all right, next topic. This is enough. <laughs> Painful. Cringing. I'm cringing. Yeah. It was cringeworthy. All right. Next. <laughs> movies. <laughs> movie. We're going to movies? Got a movie. Did everybody watch it? Yep. yep. What was it? In Bruges. 
We don't watch the movie, we about to do some debating. And if it was bad, we gon' say it's bad. It's not hating. And if it was good, we gon' call it good or entertaining. One through six beers. That is how we do our ratings. So sit back, relax, and kick up your feet as the RTB podcast judges movie. And if you got an opinion, you know where you can go stick it. This is our podcast. And you don't have to listen to it. Y'all run a little on beer. Yeah, right. Welcome to the Rock the Beat Studios podcast where we judge movies <laughs> weekly. This is the the movie rating. And for those that have no idea what we're talking about each week, we judge movies by six. Six beers is a perfect movie. And we haven't had a perfect movie yet. Before y'all start, I did watch Mowgli because of y'all and it was a good, pretty good movie. What well, would you rate it? Uh, three and a half, four. Out of six? Yeah. Pretty much what we got to. Yeah. I can't remember. I got us a book to write down everything in so we could keep up with it. I can't wait for Dumbo and Aladdin. Aladdin looks awesome. <laughs> I'm not yes. watching Dumbo, though. You're not going to watch Dumbo? No, I don't care about I'm watch CGI Aladdin. elephants. And now that I've seen the, the real trailer with Will Smith, I'm okay with it. <laughs> That's what everybody said on the internet. <laughs> They're like, okay, uh, you had me going for a minute. <laughs> yeah, you, I, you I still don't me. understand why they were so mad about him being blue. The yeah. genie was blue. Just yeah, let him it, be blue. He looked awful. What do you mean could, awful? You could have done that blue on your computer man. in five minutes. It's I mean, a blue man. It looked great. No. When he came out of the lamp in the second trailer and he was super huge. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was pretty good. But he was joking, I got a feeling. Yeah. He's going to be like, who summoned me? And then be like, I'm just messing with you, man. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lion King's going to be good, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. It's the exact same movie, but I'm going to watch it. The other day, my contacts were getting dry. I was like, what can I do about this Lion King trailer? <laughs> Old Yeller. <laughs> That's the one? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I've never seen it. Aware what? Red, aware Red Fern grows? Yeah, that one. Uh, that, that's a tearjerker. Yeah. I hadn't seen the that either. Of men. I, I hadn't seen that know? one either. Y'all are going to have to recommend these tearjerkers. So the movie we're reviewing this week, I picked it. It's called In Bruges. In Bruges. You started off. It's your movie. It's a four for me. Bobby G? Four and a half. Four and a half. Pat? 2.5. 2.5. Ow. Three. All right, Pat, what's the score? Four. Yours was a three. Four and a half. Divided by four. It gets 11.75. <laughs> what? I did the Wait, math. yours was what? A four. I yours did the math. 4.5. 3.5. The thing that I caught the second time around that I didn't see the first time I saw the movie was the note for the little kid that gets shot. And it says, I'm sorry because I'm bad at the maths. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that was just one of the three things that he was yeah. yeah. going to confess to, right? Yeah. I didn't like it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we got your rating. <laughs> <laughs> it was way better than Mowgli. I don't know about way better. Different kind of movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's called it was a just better movie. <laughs> mm. What we got next? Me? Yeah, you're I up. guess it's my turn to pick. Because um, <laughs> Quozo's fired. <laughs> You think he'll put you down as a reference for his next podcast? I hope so. My movie choice is What Happened to Monday. Oh. What Happened to Monday. Have you seen it? I've seen parts of it. I haven't seen it all the time. I've through. never watched It's like one of those movies I need a reason to watch, and I haven't had a really a reason to watch. So, <laughs> so you give yourself I'm a reason. Give my reasons. <laughs> you haven't seen it? Oh, I haven't seen it. My brother always recommended it. He, was always, he says he's watched it like a lot, like several times, because it's really good. In a future with a strict one-child policy, six septuplets must avoid government detection while searching for their missing sister. So there's like septuplets and each is like you know monday through sunday and they get that day and one of them goes missing so they have to try to find her it says on my Isn't netflix seven? app that i've watched it huh there's six kids there's seven and oh, one of them seven. goes missing i've seen so, this willem willem defoe is the dad willem defoe. willem willem's the dad i bet you monday is the one that goes missing yeah, because it's called What Happened to Monday. <laughs> yeah, she's a girl. That's a, that's not a day of the week. The actress in it's really good. She's done a, another Netflix movie that she's I She's all of them, isn't and they she? Can, yeah. They can only go out on their day. That's what it is. I've seen that before. Yeah. Didn't she, was she awesome. in uh, The Mummy? Was she in The Mummy? I don't know. She recently had another Netflix movie come out that I watched that was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Is that Halo? Oh, it is. Are we playing Halo right now? <laughs> can we, can we do God. that, please? <laughs> no, that's kind of written. We don't get money off this anyway. They don't care. Evan paid for it. 
when I, I when I paid up, for that ringtone. When I upload it, it checks hmm. and says no That's if we have exactly. something. <laughs> well, really? Have they ever told you no? No, we never had nothing. Hmm. What's wrong, Cassie? No. Noodle attacking you? Noodle attack. That's what Jared says to her. <laughs> Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Will you make me coffee? Yep, right after this noodle attack. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. A cooked noodle. What was? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. Oh, this Auburn is the one. Yep. What? What? <sighs> it's because Tennessee sucks. This Tuesday <laughs> Auburn game. <laughs> Auburn won last Sunday. That was good. All right, BG, what you got? If you had ten billion dollars mm. and you had to spend half favorite of it. Marvel character. I thought we were going to oh, discuss that a little bit. If we had ten billion dollars, oh, what? Sorry, if you had ten billion dollars and you had to spend half of it. On something that started with the letter of your first name, what would it be? Mm. <laughs> Robo. Jets. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> For resale? No. You're going to do them? <laughs> do them all. <laughs> Could go down there and do all the heroin in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> yeah, but your name <laughs> Jack <Bye. laughs> But your name starts with E. What are you talking about? He wasn't listening. I, what wasn't, if yeah, you I, was, I was drawing. I wasn't paying attention. If it was if your name started with a P, what would you say? It's if my name started yeah. with a P. Pork. Planes. <laughs> pork. 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 <laughs> hey, yo, pork. Oh, yeah. uh, Planes. Pigs. Yeah. I don't know. I think he's trying to get you to say something else. <laughs> half a billion. Half a five billion dollars on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. You couldn't money. go to the strip mall down there in Florida for that. It could go fast. Yeah, so favorite Evan, character. Mm-hmm. Five billion dollars spent on something that starts with the first letter of your name. What else starts with E? Eagles. Eggplant. You're gonna have five billion dollars <laughs> worth of eagles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's gonna be loud. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they would screech and. I feel like that's Mount more Everest. Value I would than... buy Mount Everest. That would work. It starts, it starts with, with M. M. Yeah. Oh, well, it's Everest. Also, I doubt they'd sell it to you for five. Elon billion Musk. Dollars. You just buy Elon. Musk. <laughs> I own you, I own Elon. You know. yeah. Robot. You couldn't get Put him, him out in the right. field making new stuff, poking. <laughs> Build me a Tesla. Today we're gonna shoot paintballs at Elon and make him dance. <laughs> yeah. Mean spirited. Seems hateful. What did you pick, Rexo? Jets. Why'd you pick Jets and not like the football team? No, like Rams. Several different jets, as many as I could get. Or rockets. I thought R was your name. Dun dun dun. Uh, good call. <laughs> we can pull our, our ten five billion, ten billion a piece and buy rockets. Go to space. I gotta rethink this now. First We're going to Mars. Mars. <laughs> yep. I'd come in with Elon Musk and we'd figure it out. That's right. <laughs> Take us to Mars. Yeah. So I've we got, got rockets. ten billion for for rockets <laughs> and five for Elon. We've yeah. got all the drugs we could ever want. <laughs> <laughs> We're set. Pat brought us all the <laughs> What'd you bring, Bobby G? Rockets. Bobby G. No. Bobby. Bobby G. Booty. Bring some booty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got. I got the rockets. Bibles. We need some Jesus <laughs> up there. Just don't bring balls. What if he brought booty and you brought? <laughs> 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 we just had. I'll, I'm, I'll bring some planes. <laughs> there went Jeff. I saw Jeff yesterday. I can hear Jeff on the podcast. That's cool. He was at the car wash, and he's going to walk across. Well, I back out in front of him, and he doesn't know my truck. So he stops, and I stop, and he goes to walk again, and I back up more. So he stops, and he stares at me, and he goes to go around the front, so I pull up frontwards. And he stops and stares at me, and I'm like, he's just looking at me, and I just rolled down the window. I was like, what's up? And he didn't recognize you? Yeah, he recognized me then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then he was like, oh, hey. It's pretty funny. It's pretty I didn't know you were real mad. You trimmed yeah, your beard. Yeah, he was getting real mad. It was pretty funny. Did you still have your beard at the time? No, it was just, no. I know, I, I'm sad. I miss it, but I don't know. It's time for a change. The beard's gone. Not beard is gone. Not all the way. It's still there. I do have a bet going on the rodeo, though. I may have to go bareface. I get beat. Well, it's not a big deal. It comes back fast. Yeah. I did it one time on accident. I've already gotten beat in the back hill, and then we still got the other ones. <laughs> dun, 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 all right, so Marvel character? Are we going comics? Yeah, I was about to say, are we going comics or are we just going MCU? Because if it's it's two totally different ones, if I it's know. comics or MCU. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't care. What do y'all want to do? What's MCU? The Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. In the mo- only in the movies. Only in the movies. Or are we going? Well, like I like Deadpool, but he's I can't say he's my favorite. Yeah. You 
Like if it's comic books, it's War Machine. <laughs> um, or What's War Machine? Iron Man. They haven't made a movie about him yet. Well, they don't the have movie. to. You yeah, picked a the villain. Line. War Machine's not a villain. Who is the War Machine? Don Cheadle. Don yeah. Cheadle. Oh, okay. And say so it would be Iron Man. I was thinking that was MCU. Uh, like, Why'd you like War Jeff Machine Bridges. better than oh. Iron Man? <laughs> Just He's the way he is in the Monger. characters yeah. in the comics. And like, <laughs> I couldn't build the suit myself, so I'd have to have my buddy build the suit and me jack it. He's on so, Musk yeah. and build it for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he has the uh, first Iron Man build me a suit. suit that they used in the first Iron Man movie at, at SpaceX. Because that's where they filmed that fight scene at the end between <laughs> him and... Uh, Why did you put him on the table? What is that? What was that dude called? Jeff Bridges. The Iron Monger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks for listening. You can't drop it anymore. We appreciate you tuning in. We're not done yet. <laughs> Turn the music off. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I've still got something to say. What's y'all's favorite? Wow, I'm the only one that Thor. Has yeah. Thor's got the coolest stuff. I'd take one of his, either Mjolnir or Stormbreaker over an Iron Man suit any day. That thing is sick. Are you talking I, about hammers now? Yeah. I like Star-Lord, too. Star-Lord's pretty cool. Yeah. He'd be a good one. Captain Marvel's my favorite. Why? I'm, like, I'm Hulk. She's all the, the coolest. Yeah. Star Lord is without a doubt the weakest one out of all of them, though. Yeah, he's, but he's only hilarious. human. I would rather be Rocket or Drax <laughs> over Star Lord. He's fifty percent human. Yeah, but he's fifty percent celestial. That just means he so can that, take a that punch. Fifty percent that saved That's hundred <laughs> percent. Well, he's he held on to the what you call it by himself, didn't he? Not yeah. by himself. Like I said, that means Infinity that just style. means he can take a punch. Yeah, that's, he's that's bad, really, eh? He can take a good. This is the cool music. Got a good ship. Hangs out with a raccoon. Why Captain you Marvel. Be <laughs> it's a trash panda. Yeah. Why do you like Captain Marvel? It's the one I saw last. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna change mine. It would probably be, yeah, Star Lord. Have you seen Captain Marvel though? Uh. Uh-uh. Ant Man's uh, pretty cool too. Ant Man is cool. Ant Man and MCU is. I think is he's a good got character. one of the neatest powers. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't have powers. But again, he didn't build that. Power he stole suit. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just stole the suit. Hulk. See, the Superman. problem with Hulk is you can't control it. Exactly. What do y'all want to do today? Wait, who is yours? Are you off work? See, I that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm torn because torn. You already yeah. picked Spider Man. Didn't you? Well, no. Spider Man is cool. Spider Man's awesome, but also I like I like Captain America. I do. Just... Who would you not be like if you had to be one? Star Lord. No, what? <laughs> if you're least. I wouldn't want to be Star Lord either. Drax. He's the best. Drax is Black funny, Widow. Though. Yeah. So Black, what? Black Widow sucks. Like the trailer is yeah. like everybody's prepared, and you just see her shooting her gun. I'm like, wow, that little 380 is going to come in handy yeah. against the strongest person in the universe. Yeah. She got that clip Who's in there. The strongest fast, person though. in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> But that, and Drax in the comic books is way more powerful than what he is in the MCU. Yeah. yeah. Way stronger. How did we all get peaking microphone levels? Because when we, we get excited it, about the When models. you left, we messed with a lot of stuff. No, I mean, yeah, for, the the past, we're just... for the past hour, we've peaked every time we talked. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Great. You just haven't oh. paid attention to any of it? No. no thanks. Line up. We're going again. <laughs> all right. Anybody got anything else? Um, I'm out. Like, we could like a, um, like... Stay tuned <laughs> next week for Endgame. We're going to watch it this week. It's not until April. Well, I tried it. <laughs> I'm super excited for that movie. Though. I am too. Oh, my God. And yeah. I'm off that night, so I will be there. I haven't been so hyped for a movie in a while. Tickets aren't on sale yet. Did it? But no, I, check, you, I was checking did, Monica. Did Captain yeah. Marvel show how uh, Ant-Man got out of... No. Okay, no. good. It's All right. set All right. in the past. Okay. Do y'all want to go to Madison Square again, or do you want to go? Well, to I don't care where we go, as long as we go that weekend. Monaco. Monaco. So we, we, could buy Monaco. we could go to the, drinks, drinks, the pre-bay drinks, drinks. Pre-bay? and get, like, Pre-bay. super wasted. Yep. I don't Day remember drink? any of it. Yep. I don't remember what happened, but, man, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to Uber home from the theater. Okay. Okie dokie. Thanks Just for what, having me. So what movie are we watching? What happened what to happened Monday? To Monday. What happened to Monday? I hate Mondays. <laughs> Evan, thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <clears throat> you caught me off guard. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Do radio voice. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. you for coming. This has been Evan Mitchell signing off. Thank you for coming, Evan. Do you have any news that you want to announce? Like maybe you're running for office or something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't forget to vote for me, <laughs> Lincoln County Commissioner, or Highway Commissioner, four years from now. That was the most nonchalant. Like, Is it four years? Three years? Three years. We he's got three years. He's left. got some time to worry about. Yeah. yeah. Oh, three yeah, years? Yeah, you heard it here first, three years from now. <laughs>
Episode 11. Yeah. We had Evan. Three Just because his now. name rhymed. <laughs> you might not even care about Yeah, you didn't even roads. add it in. I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be added in, but you didn't know it. It was on. too late. Yeah, you might not even have roads three years from now. We're, we're yeah, the we're Green New Deal. Roads. <laughs> Tunnels. <laughs> flying cars. Tunnels. And pl- trains. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, Evan, for coming by. Thanks. Follow or friend us on Facebook at Rock the Beat Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at RTB Pod. That's R T B P O D. Email us at R T B P O D at gmail.com. Deputy Dave. When it comes to myth, be smart. Don't start. Rock the beat. You've been listening to the podcast. Now it's over. I wrote this here just so we could have closure. RTB took you on an odyssey as we hit it at the bar like a walk off home. This is the end. This is the end. If you still listen in, you can probably turn it off now. Unless you're looking for these outro bars, then I'ma go hard to the neighbors call the cops. And I gotta tell them, hey, I know Deputy Dave and Bobby G say, let Russell Quozo play. Play, play, play. Rock the beat. You've been listening to the podcast. Now it's over. I told you. Turn it off, but you're still here. I suppose I can keep putting blows in your ears till you're bleeding out your nose or in you can hear. I suppose I should let you know about the email. RTBpod at gmail. Hit us up, let us know if you think we fail. Tell us why. Don't leave out a single detail. Cause we need the criticism. We need you to tell us when we need to do it different. Just bring it to our attention. You know our minds been living in different dimensions. And it might be time to bend and switch up the rhythm. I don't know. I can't say. It. It's all I wrote for the outro. So hey, thanks for listening. And it says goodbye. And I hate to say this every time, but subscribe. You win. <laughs>